Only on Channel 9, this eight-year-old girl rushed to help save her mother's life when their family dog attacked her. The mother had to undergo two surgeries, but now she's recovering at home. Only Channel 9's Hannah Getz spoke with the family in York County. They told her about the terrifying moments that unfolded right in their backyard. We spoke with that family today and you would never know talking to them that two weeks ago, a day spent playing in the creek with their family dog Winston would turn into an eight year old girl having to save her mother. Be careful. Erin <laughs> Miracle watches her kids, Taylin and Bentley, enjoy a warm and sunny Friday afternoon outside. But just two weeks ago, this same yard was a very different scene. That was the scariest day of my life. Erin was putting their two and a half year old dog Winston away in his kennel after a day in the water. She says that's when it happened. Whenever he turned and like looked at me, I was kind of like, I could just see like this look in his face. So I went to like shut the gate. And whenever I did, he just come out the gate and just started like attacking my arm. Erin says before she knew what was happening, she was on the ground and Winston was pulling her into the woods. Her arm mangled by his grip, but he would not let go like for nothing. That's when eight year old Taylin heard her mother's cries for help. I heard her screaming. I heard Winston like growling a lot. I heard her saying stop Winston stop and that's how I knew she was in trouble. Taylin quickly jumped into action. She tried pulling Winston off, but he was too strong. So she made another quick decision. And I ran, I jumped onto that fence and then I was thinking to myself, my, my mom is very, gonna get very, very hurt. So then I jumped down, went to call 911. She called 911, got her four year old brother safe inside the house and ran across the street to find neighbors and her uncle who was able to get Aaron to safety, but had to shoot and kill the dog to do it. I really feel like if she wasn't here, it would have been it would have been way worse than what it was. The attack left Erin with multiple fractures in her wrist, 30 staples in 38 stitches. A main artery in her arm was also nicked. Today, she is still unsure how or why this happened. But what she does know is that her daughter saved her. But to my mom, um, she says I'm her hero. A hero and a miracle to the miracle yeah. family. Uh, that's why I keep telling her, like, I'm like, keep telling her, like, she's definitely my hero now and like I was like even though you're my daughter you're my hero <laughs> I was like because she if it wasn't like it wasn't for her like it could have there would have been a different like outcome. Erin has had two surgeries now and has plates and screws in her arm. She says her doctors are hopeful that with physical therapy she will be able to move her arm and fingers again in your county. Hannah gets channel nine eyewitness news. Wow, what an incredible story and that little girl there for her mom. So smart and so brave, mm -hmm. my goodness, incredible. Yeah.